right, this is second grade, module six, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are going to be using manipulatives to create equal groups. Now, first thing I want to talk about before I actually talk about this lesson is the fact that this module is really about the foundations of multiplication and division. We are not going to be expecting our kiddos to be really learning their times tables or their division facts. Uh, really, we're going to be talking in this whole module, we're going to be talking about equal groups, sorting them. Uh, we are going to be talking about arrays. Uh, we're going to be talking about e uh, even and odd numbers. We're not going to be expecting our students to learn their times tables in this module. That's really going to be happening in third grade, that we fully expect our students to become fluent in their times tables and division facts. So let's get to this lesson. Lesson one, we're going to be using manipulatives. What do I mean by manipulatives? Uh, teddy bears, uh, color tiles, two color counters, all of these things are the kinds of manipulatives that are cheap, easily found. Uh, you could use bottle caps. You can use marbles. There's t Well, marbles might be a little hard because they'll roll off the table, but you get the idea. Use any sort of manipulatives you can find. They don't have to be super fancy. Uh, so let's get going on this. An example of what I'm talking about, parents and teachers, is right here. I grabbed this straight off of Amazon.com. The idea is they're going to be selling you 200 poker chip or counter chips like this, 200 counter chips for eight dollars and forty two cents I got an idea take a two dollar bill go to the bank and exchange it for two hundred pennies and you just saved yourself a bunch of money yeah I know it's not two colors but you can still do heads and tails um, but gee whiz we can make cheap um, manipulatives we absolutely do not need to spend this kind of money uh, needlessly, especially when there's free alternatives uh, easily available. So the directions say circle groups of three pants. So they want us to say, all right, well, if we have groups of three pants, what is that going to look like? And parents and teachers, your kids can get creative in how they decide to circle their three groups. I'm going to go pretty boring. Here's one group. Here's another group. Here's another group. And lastly, here's another group. Now, is this the only way I could have circled my, my um, pants? Nah. I could have grabbed this pair, this pants, and this pants, and I could have done a big old long circle that way as well. I could have done a lot of I had a lot of options, didn't I? So there are four groups of three pants. So here the directions say to redraw these 12 wheels into three equal groups. So we've got these 12 wheels over here, and they're not in three equal groups. You can sort of see one, two, three groups, but they're unequal. Or you can go up and down, and you can see one group, two groups, three, four, five, well, five groups, but they're unequal. So the idea is we want to create three equal groups. Now, parents and teachers, the tricky thing is this is a little abstract because they're just looking at pictures. So what you might want to do is turn these into manipulatives. Grab your counters, grab your pennies, grab your color tiles or your teddy bears, and, and arrange them so that it's the same shape as those wheels, but now kids can sort. So we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And I left, left one over there. <laughs> two, three. So there are my 12 wheels that are now sorted into three equal groups. Now, of course, the question is, how? what do we have? We have three groups of four wheels. So parents and teachers, the big key on this one is, instead of it being abstract, just a picture, you might give your students 12 manipulatives, 12 wheels, in order to do the sorting. 
So here the directions say to redraw these oranges to make three equal groups. And again, parents and teachers, the big trouble with this one might be the fact that it's a, it's a picture. It's abstract. The students are going to be drawing oranges down here, but the oranges are going to stay up here. So uh, manipulatives really might be called for here, in which case um, pennies are perfect as well. So I've got one, and I'm going to do one in each circle to take care of this guy. Now I'm going to do one, two, three in each circle to take care of that guy. And I'm going to do one, two, three in each circle, from that circle, to take that guy. Then I'm going to do this guy, this guy, and this guy. And you notice I'm sorting. I'm just kind of passing them out, trying to make equal groups. It's I'm sharing in a fair way. And then boom, 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 there's one, two, three, and I'm done with that one. So there are the 15, um, I guess, oranges that I had done, that I was given. But now, instead of, uh, let's see, five groups of three oranges, I now have three groups of five oranges. And how many oranges is that? That's 15 oranges. Don't let your students accidentally say 30 because they're counting these oranges up here and these oranges down here. And, of course, parents and teachers, we're starting to see multiplication, uh, but we are absolutely not expecting our, our second graders to learn multiplication. This is the foundation of multiplication. And that wraps up second grade, module six, lesson one, using manipulatives to create equal groups.